So this video is going to show you an honest and non-biased opinion on top poles. Now I'm not going to be able to get every single top pole on the, on the market in this video unfortunately. Um, but I'll give you a comprehensive guide and what I look for in a pole and how the poles actually perform, so actually using them properly. So the pole has got like reinforcements at the butt end to help protect it. Also you've got your dolly butts, it's got three dolly butts. And this pole is a nine section mandrill at 14 and a half meters. So it's not a 13 meter pole, eight section mandrill, then we'll just put parallel extensions. So I believe this makes the pole actually better because it's made for 14 and a half metres, not made for 13 metres with uh, parallel extensions. Okay, so the Response XS90 top kits come as standard, fitted with a side puller. Also, they've got a joint aligner, which is fitted. So happy days, that'll keep the elastic nice and central, so stops it from sticking and also protects it when you put it away as well, which is a nice feature. So when you put it away in your top kit holders, it obviously isn't gonna get damaged by the side wall of the pole. And also they come pre-bushed as well, and they are 241 in length. So got the Preston XS90 and looking at the top kits, look, top kits really really stiff. We got a quite a decent F1 here, which has been unfortunately foul looked. So it's giving me a little bit of jip. I mean Fair play, the F1s in here are colossal. So this is an original F1. So happy days. So get them safely back. So I'm just fishing our pellets, but this video is not about how I'm fishing, but just in case you're wondering. So just ping in four mil Coppins pellets and just fishing a six mil or a four mil. Wow, it's absolutely solid. That's took that on the drop. I mean, hopefully the camera can pick it up. It's always quite difficult filming on your own. I mean, I've got a little bit of support my mate here today, John. But he also, he's fishing himself. So, 
The Preston Pole, what do I think of it so far? Well, 40 and a half meters is just really, really easy to use. And as I mentioned in the video before, this is a nine section mandrill pole for 40 and a half meters. And then after that, it's the 10 sections for 16. And then it's just powered out extension. So a lot of poles on the market are eight section mandrill for 13 meters and then powered out extensions afterwards. So I believe this is going to make it a better pole. Lovely fish look. Going to make it a better pole because it's actually built for 14 and a half meters, not built for 13 meters and then just adding sections onto it, if that makes sense. So same as the Garbolino UK1, which we're reviewing today, and the Browning Z9 II, which we're reviewing today. Um, they're all nine section mandrills for 14 and a half meters. But if, say if you buy a Dawa pole, like an air, say if you buy two of them, because a lot of anglers buy two top end poles if you're lucky enough to get, you know, have the resources to do that, because people like having backups. Obviously then you've got like a 19 meter pole if required, if you're strong enough or stupid enough potentially to fish it. Uh, whereas obviously if you brought two, say, XS uh, 90s, then obviously you only got to 17 and a half meters. So that's something to potentially think about. But as you can see, hopefully the video will pick it up, that the pole is, as it should be, is very stiff. So it's obviously Preston's top end pole. And if I'm honest, I don't know why I say that, because I'm always honest, it's, um, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. So the recovery rate's good, so it's not, so when you strike, got quite a long line, so I'm not moving the float. You can see that it recovers quite fast, which is important if you're hitting fast bites. And the joints are a lot more solid than what I thought they were going to be. It's funny, I just had two quick fish. Maybe they just backed off a little bit. Huh, just took that on the drop. Oh, it's come off. So you've already got your reinforcement and it's already got a side putter that comes as standard, already fitted. You've got like your joint aligner in there. So that helps protect the elastic. So in, in when you in transit, so it doesn't damage against the side walls and also it keeps it nice and central when actual fishing. And also you've got a bush in the end, which is already in there. You've got reinforcements on all the sections, which is going to obviously help with uh, wear, wear and tear. And the person I've uh, borrowed this pole off reassures me that it doesn't come apart, which is obviously really important if you're slapping and tapping and whacking. That's gone. I thought I had a little knock then. So as you can see, look, the pole is like proper, like that is very stiff, so it doesn't like bend loads when playing fish. And I just think that helped with the elastic. That's gonna just work a lot better. Thank you.
big lad? Yeah, trying to film, but yeah. Yeah, I turn, should press the uh, red button on there. So I've been using the pole for about 40 minutes and fair play, it's been uh, pretty solid, catching plenty of fish. So let's just see what it's like at 16 meters. So obviously it's not quite as responsive, which is understandable, same as every single pole on the market. But still really, really responsive. Pardon the pun. Preston responsive XS90. Bit of an awkward wind. But again, still recovers pretty quick. So when you like lifting like so, see like the bounce, the tip bounce. Typical, and it can't get a bite now, just ship out 16 meters past the feed. So, as you can see, we have got a bit of wind, so got a bit of crosswind, and the pole's handling all right. And it does recover pretty quick. So, you'll be able to hit them fast bites. Off F1s. Come on, fish. There you go. Oh, it's come off. So could I fish this pole 16 meters all day? Yeah, definitely. But then I am six foot four, I suppose, but. So what do I think of this pole at 16 meters? Yeah, I could easily fish this all day. It's well balanced. It's, I mean, earlier, like picking up the poles, there wasn't a great deal of weight difference between the UK one and the XS90. There was more weight with the Browning Z92. That was the heaviest pole. But then you could argue the Browning Z92 is the, the cheapest pole.
It's a beautiful fish lurk. Just recently stocked. A few weeks ago. So with the XS90 you get a comprehensive package. Um, the pole you're looking, looking at the internet at the moment, I believe the pole retails at 299, so the recommended retail is like 3,000 pound. But looking on the, uh, on the internet, a lot of places are selling them for 2,700 pounds. So the package is there. Bars of gold, aren't they? So 17 and a half meters, I appreciate this is not the official section to go at the butt of it, it's a uh, response X XS carp, it does fit perfectly and to be fair that is actually alright. So if I was fishing like something like Peg Levin at Alf Church on Horseshoe Lake that'd be spot on or even like if it's fishing manor where we are today like say peg 15 on windmill we got to fish a long pole because there's no restrictions and limit of pole here obviously it's heavy like what pole wouldn't be heavy at 17 and a half meters uh, yeah spot on appreciate it's a small fish And then the small left ones. 
perfect in every way. Happy days. So overall, pretty impressed with the pole. Um, like I said earlier, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. And even at 17 and a half meters, it's uh, spot on. Obviously it is heavy, you know what I mean? Um, but like I said, what pole wouldn't be heavy at 17 and a half meters? So, we're using the uh, Garbolino UK1. Um, it is a pole that I do actually own. Now with the Garbo poles, there's a lot of top kits you can actually choose from. So this is what comes with it, is a match ELC. Actually, I'm gonna have to check that. Match power ELC. <laughs> so the next pole is a UK one. I got a match power ELC, which comes standard with the UK one Evo poles. Uh, there's a lot of different top kits that's available with the Garbolinos. So you've got like the EC specimen kits, which I do actually really like because they're so strong. Uh, they do bend a lot, um, as in bend a lot when you actually play a fish. Not that I've had any issues with that, so I'm not too overly concerned about it bending. And neither should you. So 14 and a half meters, pole's really easy to use. And I frequently fish it like 16 meters and more. So as you can see, look, the top kits bend a lot more than what the Preston pole does. Uh, admittedly, the elastic in this pole is slightly thicker. I believe that elastic that I was using is about a 1.5 mil hybrid elastic. And this is Dan's elastic, a 1.8, so slightly thicker. I'll tell you what, these F1s are fighting really hard. So this is like the new stock fish. So this is a new stocky. Thin perfect. Oh, it's gone absolutely mental. Don't want to drop it or hurt it. It's a barbless hook, comes out nice and easy. So just fishing a four mil hard pellet still. That's been better than a six mil to be honest. So catching on what we're feeding. So side pillars on the Garbo poles are slightly different, so just like a slot. I just tie a loop around, so some people will criticize saying it's a bit untidy, but I like it because I can just pull it and it's not drooping down. And with the Garbo tops, they come already pre done, as in the side pullers. So it saves you drilling it. So if you're a bit worried about drilling the pole, then uh, you don't have to worry about that because it's already done for you. So I would say, comparing it to the Preston, I would say it is fractionally stiffer not massively, we're talking hardly anything in it. And the Garbo pole is like 500 pounds more expensive. And I, I wouldn't warrant saying that it's 500 pounds better, if that makes sense.
So just ship out to 16 meters. And to be fair, it doesn't go much. Same as the Preston pole. You do feel a bit more weight, which is just the law of physics. It's the longest I've waited for a bite, I think. Getting camera shy. Oh, missed that one. So definitely not very much bounce with this pole. And if you put the short four, it definitely does stiffen it up. Same as the Preston as well. If you put a short four in, that would definitely stiffen the pole up. Obviously, you're going to lose a little bit of um, length. And both of them have got match kits as well. So if you use them, then obviously that would stiffen the pole up again. But then you've got to think about strength. So if you ever go to like a showroom and you're looking at all the poles, make sure you put like a a top kit that you would actually use. So if it's got like a match kit in there and you fish somewhere like here, then I'm not being funny, it might not be strong enough. So make sure when you do actually try a pole out for yourself, no matter what pole it is, please ensure that you um, actually use a kit that you would actually use, if that makes sense. So for example, like my brown end comes with nine top kits, which is quite a comprehensive uh, package but the top kit that's actually in the pole is a lot lighter than the ones it's supplied. And the same as the Garbolino, that's got like a, a match kit as well that's supplied. So say you're at Pole Alley, then asked to uh, change the top kits over. So you, then you can see a true reflection. There you go. Oh my god, I got a roach. Oh, spat the camera. Wow, look at that. Oh, I don't drop it, almost dropped it. Like a Gloucester Canal roach, that is. Happy days. Be happy catching that on the Emp. Right then, so here is the UK one, which is a pole I do actually own. So this is the Evo. They're 14 and a half meters. Of rain. So I would say this pole probably is a bit quicker on the tip sort of bounce, so it does recover a little bit faster. but hardly anything in it. And with the Garbolino being, what, 500 pound more expensive, I'm not sure if that really warrants that sort of price, to be honest.
So I've started fishing shallow now because I was missing a few bites on the deck and the F1s have got even bigger as probably expected to be fair. And when I say bigger, I mean, I don't know how big that is without scales. That's got to be four pound all day long. I'll try and hold up for the camera. The last thing I do is hurt it. Don't want to drop him. So we go, look. One of Manor Farm's original F1s. You can see why you can do uh, big weights here on them. So I've been using a Garbo pole for, what, over two years now. And uh, I've had no issues with it at all. I didn't like the match kits, if I'm honest. Um, but then Garbo ain't hiding anything. They do say that the maximum last that you should use is like a, a 1.2. So it's not like they're trying to hide something. So the match kits are very, very light. So I wouldn't use them for carp fishing at all, to be honest, even in winter. So just recovery rate of the poles and is great. That's why I own one. And uh, Martin Howard, I have got a float on. So no mong in. And looking at this one, I would say it's probably one of the stockers because it's just like pure gold. I have got big hands, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that hand. So yeah, lovely fish. So the rig for shallow is a 0.15 John Walker float, which is no surprise. It's a cane bristle, a glass stem, a nice thick glass stem, so it gives strength and stability. It's got two number nine shot down the line, and then I've got a three inch hook length with a 18 by 11 with a band. Now the reason why I got a band is I can put a six mil pellet on, I can put a four mil pellet, maybe even put an eight mil pellet if a little fish were a real pain in the ass, just through a nice garbo short kit, which I must admit, I do love these. And even I am broke one of these in like over two years of use. So what do I think of the census pole? I think it's a great all-round pole. So if you fish rivers, canals, commercials, or you know, commercials with great big cart like viaducts, rolfs, then this is definitely a pole that you want to look at. Obviously, if you're fishing small F1s, maybe like not that I've ever fished. Well, I fished it once actually, Partridge Lakes. There may be Without doubt, the UK one is something you definitely want to look at, or the Preston. Thank you. 
So we get this fish in, it's actually a bream. It's a nice skimmer. So what we'll do now is we we'll ship out 16 meters and see what I think. So you got like these little dolly butts, which most top end poles come with now, if not all top end poles come with now. To be fair, that hasn't gone as much as I think it would go. I mean, with the, with the camera angled, you'll probably be able to see see down better than what I, I can. Probably a bit more sort of tip bounce, which is expected. That's a proper bar of gold, that's one of the new stock is. Freaking that's like my missus that is. Beautiful. So we have the different kind of sensors tops. I'm sure there's lots of different variations, but this, these are the ones I got available to me. So got a side puller there. It's coming at like a, looks like a 45 degree angle. So that'll stop like friction and wear. And then you've got like these side slots. So I've got the Browning Z9 II, uh, fully aware that Browning's just launched a Z9 III, so obviously I like to think that's going to be better. Um, I know Anglin Direct is selling this, this current pole here, a Z9 II, for 2,700 quid. So obviously that money-wise, that's on par with the uh, Preston pole. I've got a description there, if I could on the pole, and it's actually gone. I've got a description there of the breakdown of all the package. Also, we've got your double side pullers. Never quite understood why Brown has done that. I mean, you could shove a bung up on the inside and obviously 
then you can have tension but then you still show the bit of elastic between here so you can prolong your life of your elastic by un unwrapping some from the bottom because obviously the middle part here is going to unfortunately perish freaking fish is so lively It's got really, really windy now, so good, good test. So we're fishing 40 and a half meters. So with this review, we're not really interested in fishing the pole shorter. We're just going for length. So the pole at 40 and a half meters is pretty good. So with the crosswind as it is at the moment, obviously it's a good test. Catching proper F1s. So the top kit's nice and stiff as well. Probably not quite as stiff as the Preston one. But not far not far off and it's a much longer top. Happy days. Come on, open up your mouth, you beauty. There you go. I can't believe how good it's been today. Fishing wise, it's been awesome. My pellets have all gone a bit too wet and breaking. We've had all sorts of weather today, we've had hail, rain. So, hopefully, the camera can pick it up. It's a tip bounce. Yeah, not bad. So what I do is we put sixteen meters on. And I know this pole does go a bit at 16, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. 
So it's still well usable, 16 meters, but it's probably the weakest pole out of Census, Preston and the Garbo. But then I have seen this pole advertised for two grand, so obviously it's the lowest price out of the uh, four of them. But then, like I say, Angling Direct are selling it for two seven. So I'd say the brown is quite similar, like strength-wise, to the census. So like literally, Zaitan range, within within reason, do whatever you want. Oh, it's come off. Out of all the poles, obviously the, the dolly butts are absolutely superb on the brown end, nice square butt, which obviously do help. And also they're the longest dolly butt as well. Oh. I just dropped my catapult. Mm. 